these books when I was seven years old as a gift. So that's the first time I read them, and I've read them many times since. And they just made a big impression on me. And I often think about how, um, how they lived, how they had no heat, um, how they would wake up and there would be ice in their water bucket, how the winters were just horrible and there were blizzards constantly, um, how they only had candy like once a year. I think that's stuck with many people. Um, so it's just a book that I always remember, and how Laura was very satisfied with her rag doll and a chip teacup. Good lessons for all of us in these books. Um, so I'm just going to read a little piece of um, a story. It's not like my favorite part, but it kind of encapsulizes the winters, how harsh they were, and how they survived. Laura heard Ma stirring. Lie still, girls, she said. No need for you to get up till the house is warmer. It was terribly cold outside the bed covers, but the roaring and shrilling of the storm would not let Laura sleep again. The frosted nails in the roof above her were like white teeth. She lay under them only a few minutes before she followed Ma downstairs. The fire was burning brightly in the cook stove, and in the front room, the heater's side was red hot. I'm going to stop here just for a second and say that in the earlier books, they did not have a heater. So this is an advancement. This is the long winter. But still, the rooms were cold and so dark that it did not seem to be daylight. Laura broke the ice on the water in the water pail. She filled the wash basin and set it on the stove. Then she and Ma waited, shivering, for the water to warm so that they could wash their faces. Laura had begun to like living in town, but this was the same old winter time. When Pa came in, his whiskers were blown full of snow, and his nose and ears were cherry red. Jerusalem crickets, this is a humdinger, he exclaimed. Good thing the stable is tight. I had to dig my way into it. Snow was packed as high as the door. Lucky I put your clothesline where I did, Caroline. I had to come back to the lean-to to get the shovel, but there was the clothesline to hang on to. Hot pancakes and fried pork look good to me. I'm hungry as a wolf. So that's just a little taste of these books, and um, I highly recommend them. <laughs>